Hey, hey, welcome back everyone. This is part two of our newer player farm area. Uh, what we'll be looking at today is something a little bit easier. A few people let me know that the last location might be a little bit too difficult for new players. Now, I, I did preface that in the beginning of the video and say it may not be for the brand new player, but if you know how to pull mobs, you should be able to figure your way around Vertulru. But for the sake of you brand new players, I'm going to go ahead and find a location for you that should not be crowded, should have no PKs, and is absolutely much easier than Vert Tolru. Now, that being said, the value of the mobs, it's a little bit less in terms of gold, but it's real easy to get there. So let's start running there. You're going to want to start by going to Cambria. Hit the moon gate if you're not sure where Cambria is. It's, it's probably the biggest city besides Prevalia. If not, it might even be larger than Prevalia. I'm not sure. Hit the moon gate. Follow the path either uh, into the Cambria and then go to the west exit. Or you can go through the town there. I guess that would be the farm area. I'm not really too certain. I haven't been there myself. But either way, we're going to be exiting through the west exit or entrance up to the secret passage. Uh, this spot's kind of cool. There's a few farms here. Um, I wanted it to be versatile. You may end up going to the secret passage farm I'm going to show you first and find, hey, Straw, this is way too easy. Why, why would you recommend this? Well, again, for the brand new players. But what happens is you'll find that, okay, you're wasting your time. You're farming 100 gold there, 200 gold there. You're a little bit too strong for this location. The great thing is right around the corner, there are two more spots you can farm. If you're confident, Go to the other side of the mountain that we're about to approach here in a moment and go farm some giant black widows. Make sure you have some greater cure potions or a way to not take the hits. Maybe be a summoner in this case or a bard of some sort. So as we get to the secret passage, you're going to want to run into the entrance right here. Don't go up. There's no reason to go up. We're just going straight into the hidden passage area and then into the hidden valley. Now there are some air elementals here. If you farm the location we're about to get to, these aren't terrible, but we'll be going underground in just a moment. While we're killing the air elemental, uh, just to remind you, these are teleporters. These function. They go to four, three or four different locations. I believe there's Darkmire Island, there's Inferno Island, maybe one other location, Jungle Baths potentially. Each one of those has its own farm location and dungeon, so let's say a red does show up. The great thing about farming in this area is you can recall immediately and you're going to be below ground. You can still recall from there. Most reds, if they're coming to find you in this location, are running in the same way we just came in or recalling in from here or coming through the teleporters. They will not have time to get down to where you'll be farming before you recall out. So the air elementals are, are definitely worth killing. I'd say they drop an average of 250, 300 gold. That one might have been up for a while. But once you're in the Hidden Valley, we're going to go into this other secret little entrance there and head on down. Now, to show you guys how easy this really is, for what it is, I'm playing as Aspect Tier 6. By no means is Earth Tier 6 a powerhouse aspect. It's, it's tanky, but as you can see, there's 100 gold on this mob. It's, it's going to be about the same thing for the others. And... Uh, Honestly, as a newer player, you should be able to handle three mobs, even if you're aspect tier one or zero. As long as you have a codex or uh, understand the game mechanics, this spot's going to be great for you. Average kill again, 110 to 150 gold. You might find some have three, 400, depending on if they've been up for a while, though. Uh, again, this isn't farmed very often, so mobs on this server have the chance to gain more gold and rare drops the longer they've been alive and in this case i believe it's five percent is it in every few hours potentially so if these guys have been up for a while they're absolutely worth killing uh, just come in real quick clear out and recall to another spot now as a newer player you're not going to be doing this kind of damage either i may be tier six but i have a maxed out codex i'm using an averwood manual i'm hitting far harder than someone at this stage of the game normally would so these guys are going to take you a little bit longer to kill. And as a newer player, that kill speed comes into play. As you kill this hallway here and you kill that center section, you'll run on up to the north side where we're about to go next. And you'll find that eventually these ones in the middle should be respawning before you finish this entire area. So far we have killed five mobs. We've seen seven on the map. 
And up above we have air elementals. I honestly don't think these mobs do anything special. It's nothing to get nervous over. I don't think they hit that hard. But for the sake of double checking, let's go ahead and just completely de-aspect. How about that? I really shouldn't be putting this on the ground, but I don't think anyone's here, so I'm not too worried. All right. No aspect. Let's see. Like I said, taking a little bit longer, but I'm not fearful for my character's life whatsoever. So we're looking at seven mobs, roughly 115 gold apiece, 800-ish gold in the first section of the clear. And the last location for this spot right here, the Hidden Valley Underground Passage of Cambria. I really don't know what to call this. I'm just going to call it Below Hidden Valley. Um, you've got four more mobs up here. I do believe the captain might be giving more gold. Let's go ahead and aspect up for the sake of the video to get through this a little bit faster. What do you guys think? So we'll go ahead and check that captain. But again, nothing special about this one, guys. So I do highly recommend as a much newer player to come check out this location. I think these have been up for a little while too. That one had 238 gold. It probably shouldn't have being it was just a uh, mage. I think the other mage we killed had 100 something as well. This guy clearly has a lot more health. Not really doing much more damage though. Again, I re-aspected. But I don't think you all have anything to fear from this location. For a brand new to somewhat newer player... You could sit here, semi-AFK, watch TV, study, work like <laughs> I do a little bit of play, um, and be content farming this without worrying the world. So the moment the red shows up again, right above this whole area, that's where you'll recall from. So real fast, let's say you find this too easy and you're going, this, this is a joke. Why am I doing this? Why am I killing things for 100 gold? Well, this video is probably not for you overall. But if that is the case, you find that this is just too easy for you. As you can see on the other side of the mountain there, you've got Colossal Black Widows. So I don't think Colossal Black Widows are too difficult unless you're a pure dexer who's taking the hits. If you're a mage with pets, you're a bard, anything that can either A, mitigate all the damage they deal, or doesn't put you at risk of being the subject of getting hit, this location is great too. You may kill things a little slower, that's perfectly fine. I don't think it's frequented that much, uh, but I do believe reds will check here simply because there are colossal black widow or giant black widow spiders. Those guys drop about 1,000 to 1,300 gold apiece. If you're aspect tier 1 or 2, you're a pure dexer, someone who's not too familiar with the game, I don't recommend farming this location quite yet, but I do recommend going back to the Hidden Valley until you're absolutely bored of that location when you're bored of that location you're likely ready to go down to dungeons level two either way all right so that's pretty much the hidden valley guys figured i'd give you a bit of an easier location with some versatility to it so if you find your board there's some other spots to go to through the teleporters the air elementals the black widows uh, but for you brand new guys i highly recommend this spot you really shouldn't be bothered here at all farm to your heart's content all right guys Till the next video, have a good one.